Hello everyone, welcome back to Retro Basin with Altrios. It's me. Um, I've discovered a small problem. My uh, my recording hotkey is Control Shift Numpad Plus, which in Dead Cells just means that at the end of every episode, I do a little roll just to sort of sign off. And in Quake, I waste a couple of shots. You know what I should probably do? Is I should go to controls and I should take attack. Just that button. There you go. Now it's not going to be a problem anymore. So I'm wasting some ammo every time I start recording because in order to record, I have to press the fire button. No longer a problem. Notice how I forgot to save scum. And now I'm in this sticky situation. A while ago I mentioned that um, in the previous episode, episode, in fact, earlier on in it, I did mention that the um, default weapon in Quake is a shotgun. It is not. It is, in fact, this axe. <laughs> so, don't be fooled. I'm well aware that if you run out of ammo, you're going to be running around meleeing things. But, basically I appreciate there's no crappy little gun. It's hard to use. I mean, I don't need this. I, I was okay to have used it last time. Don't accidentally pick up that HP. Um, because doing that is bad for your future health. Do you not like being in the water or something? I oh, know you're right in the water. I think they'll drown. Don't know. Not gonna try it. Not quite sure about the lore behind Quake. At least, I mean, in, um, in New Doom, obviously, it was heavily explained as we went along. In Old Doom, I think there was some, but it wasn't quite so thoroughly gone into. Hoping that these are just going to bounce over me. Doesn't seem to be the case. Balls of steel. It's a pill that gives you two spirit hearts. How? How are you such a... Whew. I mean, I'm okay with it, but... probably stand to have a little bit more uh, weapon counselling if you can't hit me. Ooh, hello. I just sort of spotted that as I went underground, underwater, and then popped my head down. I didn't, uh, I didn't think it would be... I mean, I guess I thought it would be a secret or I wouldn't have gone in there, but I actually thought it would be a lot better. Um, yeah, we are playing this game. Shoot that joker in the face. Back of the head. There are other games that I would like to play in uh, retro baiting, which is going to be a, a, literally a new um, sex. Well, you probably know that by now because you'll have seen the name of the previous video, and I might even. <gasps> what if I make some new thumbnails for it? You'll know by now if I did that. Because there's going to be either some sweet new thumbnails for all these videos with like its own. Like design and style and everything, or maybe they're just gonna all suck like they currently do, uh, and they're not gonna be special at all. I know it's gonna be a lot of effort to make a whole new bunch of thumbnails, but it may be worth it. I hate these knights, by the way. These Arabian knights. I appreciate the number of nails that you're giving me. Also, I'm just gonna keep doing that. Um, basically, it's just. Obviously, I'm already doing way better in this than I was in the last attempt. It's just that I can't be bothered doing it again. <laughs> I think we had this problem when I was playing Doom as well. It's, just... it's not that I want to get through it without dying every single time. I'm pretty sure I could. It's just that every time you make progress, you have to... Help. You have to um, redo the progress you already made. I mean, I guess that's the whole point of save scumming, is that just before a difficult fight, you save the game so you don't have to get back to the difficult fight, but I don't really necessarily think it's immoral for a star and playing a game that has pentagrams written all over it. It's, it's difficult to talk about morals when you're playing a game like Quake. Stop spawning these bastards in! I do have to kill everything, though, because otherwise I'm not a real... I'm not a proper gamer. Oh. 
See, what I do like about... The reason I have the opportunity to criticise uh, its engine here is that Epic came along with a better one. And now the Unreal Engine is very well represented in many places um, across the board in the current menagerie of games, which is great. Because honestly, I think it really deserves the attention that it got. The Unreal Engine was really, really hard to make mistakes with. Although it took me a very, very long time to <laughs> actually make my first map with Unreal. You see, when I was trying to uh, make maps of Quake, obviously I, I added a few brushes in. So the brush, by the way, it's like a, a reticle for... Now, I, I did get slightly confused, and I still am. I think... The, the geometry that makes up the level, each individual rectangle or, or, you know, angled piece, whatever shape it happens to be, I believe it calls those the brushes. But I think that's just a bit lazy, because honestly I think the thing that's called the brush is when you're in the editor you have a, a wireframe of what you're about to do. Is this real water? No, that's very painful water. <laughs> Mistake. Maybe with that's oh. oh, get out! That was a mistake. <laughs> Getting complacent. I'm noticing. Help! 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 Uh, that there are many knights up there. I'm also noticing many things on the ground that I don't want to be uh, tangling with. Um. Oh, come on. <laughs> but I saved it. Why didn't you say why didn't you scoop it in better? The whole point of saving it here is that you load from here instead of up there, you bastard. Oh, I've got the grenade launcher, don't forget that. Let's use that. Catch! Ooh, that was really good actually. Serving my ammunition because we know what's coming. Um Yes. Words. The brushes. So a brush is basically a, a wireframe for what you're about to create in the world, but then I believe it's also the thing that gets created in the world. Thank you very much for allowing these things to hurt one another, by the way. And where did they all go? I can't have killed them all. I only fired a few shots. I also want to be up there because it really feels like a secret. Ow. And then you add a brush to the world, and you do that six times, you've got a cube, and then the cube is your level, and then, well, then you've made a cube level, and then put some, you know, enemies in it, and then get to shoot the enemies, and then you've made a level, and then you can do it. Right? Easy. In the Unreal Engine, they took a slightly different approach, which I thought was really clever, and it took me ages to figure out how to make a level because nothing told me this. And I don't even know what guide I was reading in the first place, to be honest with you. Um, when I was making the Quake level, I do remember reading a... Why? I was reading in a magazine, I'm pretty sure, of Unreal, by the way, came with Unreal Ed, which I thought was amazing. Absolutely outstanding. Well done, you. Appreciate that a great deal. Um, ooh, hi. On the CD. So you can make, make Unreal maps on the CD, and I think it was like PC Gamer or something like that. And it told me how to use Unreal Egg to, to make levels. Oh, maybe it didn't. I remember Unreal's Unreal Ed's um, camera control sort of became the default way that I assumed that all <laughs> camera controls would work with with the dragging certain buttons to do certain things. One of them for rotate, one of them for help. I'm dying. <laughs> one of them for help. I'm dying. Sure. Die. You got. I'm trying to conserve nails because I know it's up there, but I did much better last time, so maybe that was not correct. You're all dead? Don't jump in the water now. That would be silly. 
Armor. Grand. Trap? Not a trap. HP? <laughs> no. This is not going to go well, and I'm not going to save it because of obvious reasons, I would hope. I'm guessing you jump in from the top to get down there. Uh, let's just use grenades because if anything's going to happen, we might as well explode ourselves with it. So then we push a button, and these bastards show up. Where is the thingy? Try to eat my face. No! <laughs> I ran out of nails and I needed them. No load. <sighs> Ten minutes and we haven't got past that bit yet. We know what we're doing. It's just difficult. It's not that it's even difficult, it's just that I completely screwed it up. One at a time. It does use two nails per shot, by the way. I don't know if you've noticed that. Uh, we didn't pick up HP that we should have picked up. Mm. 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 Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, Unreal's engine, you subtract the brush from the world, which is such an inspired idea. Because if you think about it, the whole problem I had with the BSP in Quake was that it kept leaking. I, it, it had compile errors because it couldn't figure out how to light an infinite space. Unreal doesn't have an infinite space to light. And I think it was because I had to read something like PC Gamer uh, that I finally figured out that you subtract the brush instead of adding it. But what happened was, of course, the first thing I did was add the brush to the world. You start with a cube, right? You go, alright, how do I... Just, you hack. You, it's a hello world for, um, for, for, for maps. By the way, can you not just appear? Do you think you could have some... I know you could do particles, it's like one, one of the things quite so famous for. So can you, can we have them? Would that be alright? Um, like making a cubic room in the world is basically the hello world of video games. Of, of, of map creation. Why have you allowed this thing so run around so much uh, I couldn't figure it out because you you have a cube so you, you add it to the world you go oh that's great I've added a cube to the world also can we just not talk about the fact that I now have 52 HP because uh, I walked into that grenade which may have been my own I'm not entirely sure I can't tell if I'm being hit by these things. So this HP, and then we run away, and then we shoot these things with this one. Slightly more accurate. Might not be actually, but... I don't think it is. It's so loud! <laughs> I apologise. Stop throwing grenades, it's so rude. Oh, there was another one. These are the same enemies that recently I was just sort of standing there and taking it from. And they couldn't hit me at all. So... Can you make your minds up about how accurate you're going to be, please? Let me just sort of throw it towards you. On an XY sort of... Idea, and then if it happens to hit you in a... In a Z-axis sort of way, then... That's good on them, I guess. Yikes! <laughs> hey, pro tip. Don't do what I did. Let me just like go down here. There we go. Figured it out. Mom, I'm clever. Acknowledge me. Oh my god, how many of those need to miss? I'm just gonna run around a little bit. Because. Yikes! Whew. Seems to me that it's not strictly necessary Phew. to uh, press all those buttons. So I'd like to sort of find out if I can get some benefits by wandering around it. 
before I uh, go in there. Did they just close those doors to force me to do that? It's rude. I was going to say missed, and then he hit me. So I was like, oh, I am. Yikes. Why are these grenades so unpredictable? Look how well it was aimed at me. I see nins over there. Why do I not have them? Because that shells. Ah, no use. No one needs shells anymore. We're an outmoded form of death delivery. Anyway, so I don't really enjoy making quake maps, basically. Hey, you happen every time they get pressed. Yikes. Okay, I heard a noise and I was scared of it, but it turned out just to be. Uh, excuse me, where is your. Where's your stuff? Very rude. I went there expecting. Oh, thank you. Secret cave has opened. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did you do that? Let's figure out where that is. Goodness. Presumably under the water. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Couldn't be a uh, subtle. No? Ooh. Grenade launcher and health. I do. Honestly, uh, it, uh, uh, I whacked the microphone in surprise. I was going to say, I find it slightly... Oh, it's Ziggurat Vertigo. Friends, we have found it. Pentagram of protection. That means we go in here. Um, you all must remember this if you ever played Quake. Ziggurat Vertigo. What? Such an iconic map. Oh, that doesn't last long. Oh, it does last long. There's, um... Oh. Let's just use something else. <laughs> there we go. I love playing this in multiplayer. At school, I think. <laughs> Not that I would admit to that. At the time, anyway. Yeah, you can't hit me because you're rubbish because... of the gravity. Mate, I love this map. You ever played this map? I'm hearing scary things, but... I was going to say, um, I was finding it a little bit silly that... Help. <laughs> I can't. I don't... Well, that was silly as well. What's going on? They... I find it a little bit sort of lazy level design if there is a teleporter, basically, but... I can't really criticise Quake for having lazy level design because, for a start, it's not like there was a, a huge level design sort of... Games hadn't taken off enough, I think is a whole deal here. They were they were things, don't get me wrong, but... The, oh, the air speed of an unladen swallow is just awkward, because you don't keep your momentum. Oh, there we go. Oh, you do. Hey, you're hearing that dog woofing again. Because a, a while ago, you know, we, we found a secret and then it was like, well done, now here's a teleporter to get you back somewhere else because we didn't think about how to connect this part of the map to another part of the map. And, well, don't pick that up. Not not the right thing to do. Anymore. Um, whereas, I mean, first of all, that's a little bit snide maybe. It's not like I'm any better at level. I don't know, actually. I used to enjoy it, so maybe I'm okay at it. This is very noisy, I don't know if you noticed. Um, and then... Um, I was going to complain about the other teleporter, but of course it brought us to Ziggurat Vertigo, so there's no way I'm complaining about that. And then... Oh, I should save it. And then... Um... I used to really enjoy making maps, and I don't know if I was any good at it or not. I mean, come on. I was a lot younger. I mean, everything I did, I was a lot younger. That's kind of the thing about time, and it goes one direction. Maybe. From a human perspective. Oh, hi, 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 hi. 
I am into this. Thank you for the rocket launcher. Bump. These bars are opened here. Okay, enough with the weird bouncing. There's no music. I, I recognize that. I don't know if I can turn it on. It's on, so... Yeah, I don't know. Um... <laughs> Boom. Playing this game IRL with people. What a thrill. Especially this map. No one makes maps like this anymore, even it themselves. I was playing Quake Champions over on you and I played. Did you watch that? It was okay. It's kind of not even as good as this game. I think the problem is with Quake Champions, if I may throw in my two cents, is that it is. It should be different from this game. Yeah, I know that we we like having them. Um... Oh my jeez. Oh yeah, rocket launcher. Didn't like that. <laughs> no load. We should definitely be using the rocket launcher to kill the shambler. Mind you. Oh, so slow. <laughs> Mind you. Uh, that That's going to be a difficult thing to kill anyway because of where it is. Alright, so let's get back down there. At least we don't have to worry about fall damage, I suppose. Um, yeah, Quake Champions just... It's disappointing because they didn't really seem to have any new ideas. Mind you. I kind of find that the new UT is disappointing. I mean, it's not even remotely finished yet, but... Oh, hey. What? Stop. Enough. Uh, it's... It's more of this new style UT. They've made changes to UT that just didn't need to be made. <laughs> Does that make sense? I know it makes sense. It's not like I need your <laughs> confirmation that that makes sense. Although sometimes I do. So maybe don't be quite so dismissive. Uh, not a fan of this. I'm pretty sure the first time you meet a shambler in the not nightmare mode game is way later than this. I don't need 25 health. Oh wow, that's a very powerful weapon. Might just keep hold of it. Now nah, we should use them. Um, we should use a shotgun for things that don't really warrant a great amount of attention, like this particular Joker. Um, I really think that the original Unreal Tournament had some good ideas that didn't need to be changed. Uh, for example, and probably crucially, the main example is the rocket launcher, which kind of didn't need to be nerfed and turned into help. What? What? There's another one! I'm upset. <sighs> um, the original rocket launcher in Unreal Tournament was... Um, ooh. Uh, you held down the button and you get rockets. Seems correct. What we want to hear? They they charges up. That's a nice thing. We like the idea of that. Absolutely. If you hold down the right, if you well, if you press the button, you get a rocket, and if you hold down the button, it loads progressively, one at a time, six rockets into the chamber, and you let go of the button, and it fires six rockets at your intended. Cool. We like the sound of that. It was more than that. It wasn't just the fact that it was six rockets, which was kind of silly amount of cool on its own. Um, first of all, that came from Unreal itself, which was the, called the 8-Ball, for some reason, in Unreal. Which, if you want to see a playthrough of Unreal, I very much recommend you go and watch Rorax play it. I think it was Rorax? I'll look it up, maybe, if I remember, and uh, try and find a link to put in the description. Because the reason I'm playing all these games myself is that Rorax played some games uh, that I like. So, 
I don't like the fact that it... Uh, it's kind of my health down, by the way. Bit rude. I know that that always happens in um, quite still. Unreal had the, the eight ball. Wait, did I play it? I think we both played it. I know I played Hexen when she played Heretic. Anyway, go check out Rorax. She does cool stuff. Go check out me. I do cool stuff. And then between us, we are doing cool stuff. And don't worry about it. What's this nonsense? So we need to get that, which means we need to jump. Uh, it's difficult. Gotcha. Let's um, use this. This. And then we should be able to get up here and attack this Joker whilst we're invincible. Please. So you'd hold down the button like I am doing right now and you get six. Uh, oh no, another one. <laughs> six. Um, how have I not got any nails? Excuse me? I have got nails. Why are you skipping it? Rockets. If you held down, if you press the right mouse button, that's the thing. Unreal and Unreal Tournament had secondary fire, which is such a simple idea and made such a difference to just the whole game. You know, having secondary fire on any weapon, even if it's just a small change to the weapon, so valuable, so powerful, such a great idea. Um, Everyone should do it. I don't see any reason why Quake should have single fire boring weapons like it does um, when there's so much scope for. Excuse me. Oh, what if there's a secret in the lava and now I can't get it? No! Ooh, yo, 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 yo. That was scary. Um, but if you hold down. This is uh, Unreal again. If you hold down the left mouse button to charge up six rockets, and then you hold down the right mouse button while charging six rockets, the six rockets that you fire will be in a tight cluster, whereas previously they would have been in an extreme wide blast, which is also great. It's so inspired. And in Quake, it's like you can press the button and it will continue to shoot rockets. <laughs> What, what are these noises? Until you run out. <laughs> simply, even It's not like it had to go as far as to have, you know, uh, 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 reloading weapons and stuff. It doesn't need that level of realism, although I do quite like games that do do that. Um, it's interesting. I, I like the certain amount of attention. Not to say it's detail, but um, it's a little bit more strategy in those games than in uh, these games, which is just don't get shot by other people. This is, um, it seems like a trap. Yep. <laughs> wonder if this game just creates enemies, because you can do that in Hexen. So it would seem a little bit silly that you wouldn't be able to do that in something more modern than Hexen. I'm worried, because <laughs> I don't want to find myself up against a shambler that I can't beat. Do you know what? I don't think I've played Ziggurat Vertigo single player in the past. I think I've only ever played it multiplayer. Which in and of itself is a challenge. Especially if you have friends who are actually good at the game. Saw that coming. What are you talking about? This game really likes just putting baddies behind doors. Right, surprise! I'm like, not really! Low grav levels have always been fun, <laughs> I guess. I've always enjoyed them. Ooh. A secret in a secret. Genius. Genius plays. Next level. Loving it. So there's a thing 
Is there any more to find? I don't know. I don't even know if I want to try. <laughs> I've been playing for a while. This is another half an hour episode and we've only only done <laughs> Ziggurat Vertigo. Which, by the way, is great. But it's better multiplayer. Whee. I'm wondering if it was um, an experiment that they did. Sure, save it as we leave. Oh, Mr. Secret. Killed everything. That's pretty good. Um, do you know what? I'm going to leave it here once this thing's dead. Thank you for watching. Hope you're enjoying the retrospective retrovating, which is playing Quake right now, and in future we will play some other games as well. Let me know in the comments what you want to see. I've got nothing but respect for games that are sort of, not just my childhood games, but games that created what is now a, a huge part of many people's lives, i.e. video games, which, you know, some of them are boring or, 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 or not necessarily boring, but plain. You know, games like Quake, where it's just run around and shoot things, very cathartic, don't get me wrong, and some of them tell amazing stories through a medium that just never used to exist. So, if we can have a look back at the games that uh, that inspired people, that would be grand. So anything that you've got, anything that you remember, uh, anything that's in your your nostalgia, in your memory, anything that you used to play, it doesn't have to be a third person game, a third person game, a three D first person game, like Quake. I mean, I was thinking of playing Lemmings, for example, something like that. So let me know in the comments what games you used to play and what you'd like to see. Sort of have a little resurgence on this particular channel, and then when we do that, you can share it with your friends and show them what you used to play and how much you used to enjoy it. And I maybe it'll be the first time I play it, so that would be cool too. But until the next episode of this, thank you for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed it. I hope that you will leave a like on the video. I hope that you will subscribe if you haven't already, and go and encourage other people to subscribe too because that's really important for some reason. But until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you.